I'm Kevin Raber and this is PXL News. Ah, uh, I'm Kevin Raber. Welcome to PXL. I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana, back in our studio and gallery. And today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite cameras, the Sony RX107. Finally, Sony put in a microphone jack. This is our small grab and go video kit, RX107. Let me show you all the things in this kit. And this is a full video kit except for a light. And I do have a pretty cool light, except it broke yesterday. Uh, I keep this whole thing in a little 10 buck kit. And inside here, let's take a look at all the things we've got. First off, I have the Sony RX107 and it's in a small rig cage. I have a black rapid strap attached to that. My friend, Jeff Shuey, uh, he and I just took a, a trip out west and he had this camera hanging from his neck on a lanyard the whole time. It's a pretty damn good camera. It's got a 24 to 200 millimeter lens, a 20 megapixel one inch sensor. It has a pop-up viewfinder and when it pops up, it automatically turns on. It's got a tiltable screen that actually tilts all the way that way. So you can actually do you know, um, your own little blog shots and stuff. And I'm, I'm gonna set this up as a blogger camera. This is the Sony Remote Commander. This is a Bluetooth uh, remote, works on uh, the latest Sony cameras as well as this camera and allows me if I had the camera set up on a tripod over there just to turn it on and go back and I also have the ability to do zoom control so as I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder I can actually zoom in and out and do all the controls without having to reach over and kind of get and touch the camera so this is a real benefit and we'll show you how this works in a little bit this is my sermonic microphone and this is a really cool little setup it slides into this little accessory shoe. So now I've got a microphone attached. I also have these little tiny freaking batteries. I hate these things, but these are the X batteries from Sony. And I have a whole ton of them because uh, to keep the camera small, they got small batteries and you have to kind of change these things out. If you're having a day and you're out for a day, you're gonna to wanna to have a pocket full of batteries. I've got this little setup, which is their own uh, Sony remote system and it's a handle and we'll put the handle on in a second and I'll show you but it's also a little tripod so you can set it up and then you have a little button you can push and set it whether it's level so I'll give you a view of this in a second. Now one of the things that people are critical about uh, with the RX 106 and the 7 is the fact that well they introduce longer lenses uh, 24 to 200 millimeter uh, they took out neutral density filters and that's kind of upset a lot of people well, let me show you a solution. We have from MagFilter, a little neutral density setup. So this is my little rig and it works out really, really well. And you know, at this particular junction, I could just take my remote, I could set this camera up, turn the screen up so I can see it. And hello, this is Kevin Raber and I am coming to you from Indianapolis to talk to you about the life of a photographer. Anyway, so you can make my own little vlogs and everything this way. I can you know, reset it up, do B-roll or whatever I would like, but uh, the sound is quite nice. I can see the sound levels, I can see the focus. I can move things in and out and it focuses pretty quickly. So that's pretty nice to have too. It's got a histogram, so I'm making sure that I got the right exposure, especially when I put the neutral density filter on. One of the things I don't like about this setup is the fact that it's really low to the table and it's very hard to, because uh, I have to kind of you know, set it down and it's looking up and probably looking up at me is not the most glamorous way to have uh, a video done. Ah, f What this gizmo really is good for is if you want, I have a zoom button and I have got a movie button so I can zoom in and zoom out and, and hand hold it with one hand if I'd like. You can see too, there's an outside ring here. And this ring I have set up to do my f-stop. So I can rotate it around and uh, you can set that ring to do any number of different things, but obviously probably the most intuitive one is to kind of work it with the f-stops and uh, the neutral density filter to get the prime exposure. This is also a kind of a nice little tripod that I can take with me if I need to do uh, exposures, long exposures and things like that. Um, and uh, it folds up quite nicely. So that folds up like that. The legs fold up like that and they lock. 
And so essentially this is the full size of it. It has slow motion capability, really good slow motion capability, plus IAF, which is really incredible to see, and 20 frames per second on still photography. So uh, that really, really works well too when you're trying to shoot stills. And I do do a lot of stills with this and it's quite nice. I can take it into museums and places where uh, sometimes big cameras are frowned on and basically do a pretty good job because when the camera is by itself, it's very capable, very small, and it works well. Michael used this camera. He tells me the ambient temperature is around 95 degrees and he did have his camera uh, shut down uh, as overheating. They've worked really hard over the years to take the overheating problem down, and I was surprised that Michael ended up with that. Up here in Indianapolis, I've shot with this and uh, done you know, up to 15, 20 minutes and had no issues whatsoever. So they allow you to have a internal temperature high, allow to cool. No, oh, do you believe that? Well, we didn't even do uh, You should be aware that you might have overheating problems and so forth with this camera. Uh, once again, it's not meant to be anything more than a convenient camera. I think for most of our videos, uh, we would tend to want to work with our larger setups as we're familiar with. But when you consider I can take this small little camera system and go just about anywhere and have video capability, unbelievable still capability, you can't argue with the way it works and what you can do with it. Uh, you've got Wi-Fi capability. It also connects to the new Sony Play apps uh, and it, you can control your camera from your mobile device if you'd like. Um, I found doing that, that it does end up uh, using up a little bit more of the battery quickly that way, but it is pretty cool that you can set the camera up and record right to the phone and control the camera from the phone. So that's a pretty nice setup also. So this little camera has a lot of things packed into it and you've got to set the menus correctly and do everything right to make it really work the way you want it. And the fact that it focuses with IAF has a tremendous 20 frames per second frame rate and a 24 to 200 millimeter zoom. Uh, you know, you can put this thing in your pocket and accomplish pretty much everything you'd want to do. Let me disassemble the cage and I'm going to show you what this camera looks like uh, without the cage and how I normally carry it. It's small, it's compact, you know, it can fit right into my shirt pocket. It does have diopter correction capability. Look at Michael, he's so handsome. Uh, the screen folds down, folds out like that. It's just got about everything you can think of. It is around $1,300. It's not an inexpensive camera, but the fact is, if you are from the school of always having a camera with you, and that's excluding the iPhone, which is a whole nother story, then this really is a very, very capable camera to have with you where you won't miss the shot, but you've got almost all the professional uh, settings and capabilities that you have in your larger mirrorless uh, operations and full frame cameras. I highly recommend this camera if you are aware of some of its little idiosyncrasies. So keep that in mind when you purchase it. Uh, links for purchasing this camera are down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. It helps support our uh, efforts, especially with Photo PXL and our new video channel on YouTube. And if you want to be notified when the new videos come out, just click on that bell thing. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time on Photo PXL. All right. Uh,